The moon is known to light up our night sky. It's also allowed us to study space and set up technology which has helped us further understand this incredibly complex thing we call space. The moon also affects how high the tides are in regards to the water on Earth. From the lakes to oceans, the moon's gravitational pull is the reason they create waves. But today we'll be exploring the idea of the moon being replaced by a black hole. We previously did a video on the sun being replaced by a black hole, so we figured why not flip the script and replace the moon. Welcome to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm your host Jared Bronstein, and today we'll be answering the question, what if a black hole replaced the moon? Before we do, make sure to subscribe, click that bell icon, and let me know in the comments below if you think we'd survive if the moon was replaced by a black hole. I'll be replying to some of my favorite comments from a previous video at the end of this one as well, but for now, we gotta get right into it and start talking about everything space, moon, and black hole related. If you have yet to watch our video, What If a Black Hole Replaced the Sun, be sure to do that after this one. But for now, we need to talk about how a black hole replacing the moon would affect the Earth. Would we be sucked in? Would the oceans and seas of the world have their water flying all over the place? Would natural disasters lead to the end of humanity? As much as I'd love to give you a crazy, exciting answer like that, it seems not much would change. I know, bummer. I was hoping we'd all have some crazy, exciting, dramatic death too. Nope. It'd just be a whole lot darker. For those of you who didn't realize, the moon helps light up our nights. It does get some help from Venus, but in comparison, the moon does most of the work. However, if it were to be replaced by a black hole, that means our nights would be nearly pitch black. As the sun went down, it would be much harder to see things. Eventually, it would get to the point that you'd need a flashlight to get around the streets at nighttime. Without an artificial light in hand, you wouldn't be able to see 10 feet in front of you. Now you may be thinking, if we were that close to a black hole, wouldn't it just suck us in and destroy life as we know it? Not exactly. You see, if a black hole were to replace the moon, it would have the same mass as the moon. And considering how we aren't being pulled directly into the moon, the same goes for a black hole. In fact, Earth has more mass than the moon, which is why if the moon was turned into a black hole, it wouldn't suck us in. Not even in the slightest. It just wouldn't be all that powerful and our tides would still be the same. Again, because the gravitational pull of the black hole would be the same as the moon. Life on Earth would pretty much stay the same, aside from the much darker nights. But we would have plenty of other things to worry about, including asteroids. We know the moon is full of craters, and it wasn't just created that way one day. It's taken its fair share of a beating, specifically from asteroids. Meaning without the moon blocking those asteroids and taking some shots for Earth, we may see our fair share of attacks from space rocks. Now technically, yes, the black hole would suck some of the asteroids in, but not all of them. Any asteroid that comes remotely close to the gravitational pull of Earth would head right down instead of being sucked in by the black hole, which would have a mass just over 1% that of the Earth. Which pretty much translates to we'd be getting hit by a ton of asteroids. However, what would probably trouble us the most is that our moon somehow got replaced by a black hole. Astronomers, researchers, scientists, NASA, and anyone who has any understanding or interest in space would be completely flabbergasted. They would spend insane amounts of money trying to understand and figure out how this even happened. Everything we know about space would likely be thrown out the window, considering how an astronomical body somehow turned into a black hole. For those of you who don't know, a black hole is formed after a star collapses in on itself. This wouldn't be possible for the moon, which is considered to be an astronomical body floating around space. Meaning that the black hole might have sucked the moon in, which again would leave astronomists wondering, where the hell did this black hole even come from? Simply put, a black hole replacing the moon wouldn't necessarily mean the end of the world as we know it. However, the darker nights, fear that an asteroid or multiple asteroids can crash down on us at any time, and the fact that those who know the most about space would question everything they thought they knew, well, it wouldn't be a good time for any of us here on Earth. Now thankfully, the moon won't be replaced by a black hole anytime soon, or ever actually, because it's not possible, at least as far as we're concerned. And if that does happen, well then this entire video would most likely be the chain of events that happens. But it won't, at least based on what we know, it shouldn't. And on that note guys, let's reply to some comments from the video, what if Nyarlathotep fought the Siren Head? Simply Abstract said, you had me at your dad versus anyone who touches the thermostat. Well, I'm glad to see you guys are enjoying Keegan's jokes. I won't lie, when I heard that, I also laughed. Keegan's quite a funny guy, and I'm glad to see you guys are welcoming him with open arms. Palefinger Azazel said, who would win? A literal god of a thousand forms and the voice of the outer gods, or one screamy boy? <laughs> I don't know, have you ever seen like a fight between a father and a pouty, stubborn little son at like Chuck E. Cheese? Nine times out of ten, that kid's getting pizza. So, you never know. Some screamy boys win. Alex Thomas said, Siren Head just seems like a regular monster compared to an actual god. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nyarlathotep's a pretty badass MF, you know. He could, uh, he could slay, so. 
I, I think I think I would give it to him as well. <laughs> and on that note, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up. Let us know in the comments down below whether or not you still think we would survive if a black hole replaced the moon. You guys know my answer. I think eventually either an asteroid would hit us or well, who knows what would happen because it really wouldn't make scientific sense. So everything we know really wouldn't make sense, which means anything could technically happen. And on that note, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this one, share it with a friend. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.